Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, I'll share our fall favorite pens, a new set of diamine fountain pen inks, and pen superstitions. Last, I'll give away something on my desk. This fall, we've been treated to several amazing pens that capture the colorful excitement of the season. And as far as we can tell, you all have enjoyed these pens as much as we do. For example, the first pen that we introduced back in September was the Kaveco AL Sport Mercury Orange, which is about 60% sold out. Then we had the Retro 51 Tornado Fountain Pen in Autumn Leaves, which was a a uh, second addition to the one that we had produced last year in the rollerball version. This is 70% sold out. Then we had the Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball in Fright Night, which is completely 100% sold out. This is the prototype model uh, that doesn't have the metallic orange that you actually would see with the real version we made. Uh, this is one that we have up for our giveaway today. And then there was the Retro 51 Frankenstein, which was the the popper for Halloween that is also 100% sold out. Then we also have the Estabrook SD Raven, which completely sold out, and we're expecting, though, a restock in December. With a little over a week to go before All Hallows' Eve, the bountiful Halloween pens continue with the Bennu Euphoria Hallowed Harvest. Crafted from unique, custom resin that only Bennu's artisans can make, Hallowed Harvest shimmers with pearlescent orange, swirls of stark black, and fiery embers of holographic glitter. There are only 500 of these pens made worldwide. The edition number is noted on a signed certificate of authenticity included with the pen. Now, if you miss out on Hallowed Harvest, this pen may very well haunt your dreams. Not to be outdone by Bennu's sparkly resin, the Novelor Original Plus Orange Marmalade Fountain Pen is a fun Halloween-themed treat. At $55, the Novelor Original Plus is one of the most reasonable, vacuum-filling fountain pens with a number six size stainless steel nib. This seasonal edition combines a swirling clear acrylic resin body with sleek black metal trims and a black finished nib. This pen is packaged in a seasonal special gift box and is available only for a limited time. If you've already had your fill of pumpkin spice this season, you could skip right to peppermint mocha, sleigh bells, tinsel, and caroling with the 2023 ink vet calendar. This year's purple edition calendar includes 25 brand new seasonally themed colors from Diamine. Count down the days with 24 12 milliliter bottles and celebrate the big day with a 30 milliliter bottle on day 25. Now, traditionally, an advent calendar countdown starts on December 1st. However, I feel like opening it up early this year to swatch all of the colors. So, I shared a video on all of Goldspot's social channels. If the pen community did not want me to spoil all of the colors, all they had to do in 48 hours was to get 1,000 likes. As of the recording of this video, we accumulated 313 likes on Instagram, 224 likes on YouTube, 32 on TikTok, 8 on Facebook, 7 on Threads, and 4 on X, formerly known as Twitter. This brings us to a grand total of 588 likes. A valiant effort, but well short of the 1,000 needed to stop things getting spoiled. Now, plus, we also received a number of comments from people who actually want to see all the colors so they know if the calendar will be worth the investment. Fair enough, right? So be forewarned. Next week, we shall share the epic swatch and sample fest of the Diamine 2023 Purple Inkvent calendar. You can also have fun with this calendar or gift it to a fountain pen enthusiast for $115, including free shipping within the United States. Now, last year's green ink vent is also still available on sale for $109.25. There's a full review of the 2022 calendar on the Goldspot Pens blog, along with a breakdown of everyone's favorite colors. And now for the review of the week, which is the Montegrappa Elba 02 Cover Sea Green Fountain Pen, which has accumulated five five-star reviews, including this one from Matthew F. Matthew writes, purchase this Montegrappa on a bit of an impulse, but I'm glad I did. The pen resin is really stunning in person, which, as in most resin, isn't captured in pictures. The material also feels so much different than any pen I have. It feels silky smooth, but not slippery. It's almost warm and welcoming to the touch. 
The cap unscrews very smoothly and closes securely. The cap also posts fairly deep and secure. The nib is what I was hoping for in a wet, smooth nib. Nate H also provided a wonderful close-up image of his Elma O2 with a writing sample in his five-star review. The Monte Grappa Elma O2 rates highly in uniqueness with its abstract, expressive quality of paint-like Monte Grappaite resin. It's also far from the ordinary, executive boardroom pen with plenty of colorful personality. Best of all, the Cover C Green is still on sale at 50% off the remaining stock, which brings the dearly priced Monte Grappa brand within reach for many pen enthusiasts. And now for the question of the week, which comes from Mike the Jedi 1982 who asks, are there any fountain pen superstitions or rituals slash habits that are popular? Do you have any? One I've heard is not letting anyone else write with your pen. So yes, Mike, that is definitely one of those superstitions. And it sometimes holds true depending on whom you loan the pen. For example, I'd loan my pen to coworkers because they have the requisite experience and respect for pens. I would not let just any stranger write with my fountain pens. But if we're friends, I'd give you the pen and a quick tutorial on how to write with a fountain pen without destroying the nib. Another superstition is needing to flush the fountain pen before inking it for the first time. Now, of all the pens that I've tested for customers, demonstrated for YouTube videos, and purchased in my own personal collection, I've never needed to flush the pen before inking it for the first time. And that's not the only area where some writers tend to overclean their pens. Another superstitious habit that pen enthusiasts engage in is completely disassembling a pen every time it is cleaned. When you get a pen like a Twisby, which has parts and instructions on how to take it apart, it's only natural that people feel inclined to strip it down every time that they switch an ink color. Not only is it not necessary, but constantly disassembling a pen like a Twisby causes extra stress on the parts, leading to cracks in the injection molded plastic. Now one useful habit you should always engage in is capping your fountain pen after writing. If you leave your fountain pen open after setting it down, bad things can happen. At best, you'll get a hard start because ink has started to dry up in the nib. At worst, it might roll off the table and land nib first. Last, I guess you could call it a superstitious habit, but I have a tendency to match my ink choices to my pen color. For example, I prefer putting oranges and browns in this Caveco Ale Sport Mercury Orange. A green or pink in this orange pen would just not sit well with me. The only pens that I could put any color in are black, silver, or clear demonstrator. Congrats go to Mike the Jedi 1982 for being picked as the question of the week. You've won an alternate prototype of the Retro 51 Fright Night Rollerball pen now sold out. Email me at tom at goldspot.com to claim your prize. For this week's giveaway, we have a Girologio 3 pen case in bomber brown leather. To enter for a chance to win this pen case, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. If I answer your question, you win. If you'd like to see me write with the pens mentioned in this week's episode, you could check out Goldspot Pens YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikToks for writing samples. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.